Okay, what do we got? Jekyll Bait Company. Hey Jan, I wondered if you could fish these and give any criticism. I turned these in a lathe out of Eastern Red Cedar. I use Rust-Oleum dipping for a white base coat. I'm using Dev, okay. Devcon 2, two ton epoxy, Createx paint. I have two things that are uh, something to just dis, dis, uh, disadvantage. I have two things. Okay, sorry, sorry. I have two things that are a disadvantage. I don't fish, <laughs> and I don't want to learn. I just want to make lures that catch fish and maybe pay me a little thanks, Larry. Cool. Yeah. Okay, awesome. I'm sorry I couldn't read that word. I'm just, um, sometimes I'm blind as a bat. Um, okay, so let's um, let's take a look at these together, fish heads. First of all, Eastern Red Cedar. Um, I am not a wood person by nature. Um, I usually have blanks, but I got to tell you, number one, that they're beautiful. Like, if, let's take a look at this one in particular, if we can disattach it here. Can we? Larry, these are gorgeous. Like, this wood is beautiful, and I think we're going to have a whole lot of fun. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to do a two-part or one-part video on this. Uh, today is absolutely trashed for fishing. It's storming, it's raining, it's like 75 degrees. I'm not even going to spray today. I should be spraying. I'm just going to do canvas work today. I'm going to paint paint um, on a canvas and probably do some like, art of fishing type stuff. Like, you know, why, why do lures always do that? There we go. Um, so cedar is a gorgeous, gorgeous tree regardless. But the, the craftsmanship in this looks really awesome. I'm excited. I like big mouth poppers like this. So I, I think that um, myself and pro staffer CJ are going to go crazy on this the next chance we get. I really like this, Larry. This is, um, is going to be fun. Very cool. So yeah, I will definitely test these out for you. Love the hardware you're putting on them. These look like the old antique Heaton um, hardware for plugs and poppers like the eyes, like the red underneath this time of year, you know, I preach red, 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 red. So this is number eight. Cool. And then we have, love the glitter in this, love the natural bass with the red hog island baits. Yes, indeed. You bet we're going to fish this. I'm excited. Um, so we're going to get back to you. So I am going to do this in an introductory video. This is the hog island baits fishing test part one. Stay tuned. <laughs> 